Chevy Monique and today I'm going to be doing my Sephora VIB Rouge 15% off semi-annual sale haul. So if you like to see all the things that I picked up, then definitely keep on watching. Make sure to subscribe too if you would like to see swatch videos or first impressions or reviews on any of the items that you see that I receive. And I went overboard and when I say overboard I mean like completely overboard I think I spent more than I've ever spent in a makeup store which is very surprising to say and kind of embarrassing but um, I'm gonna start off with the things that YouTube made me buy which is really not that many things but they're just sitting in front of me so I figured why not so the first thing is the fix the Fix is a Formula X, um, the Fix is a Formula X 5-in-1 nail treatment, and it is pink. It gives you a bit of a pink champagne glitter holographic, holographic type of effect on your nails. I'm not sure, um, if it works, but I will let you know in the next couple weeks because I have been using it since I got it in the mail. I saw, um, man, I can never remember her name, but I saw this girl on YouTube, <laughs> one of my um, faves that I like to watch. She does Friday whoops and whomps and stuff, but I cannot remember her name in this moment, and I'm sorry, but yeah, I saw her video, and I um, knew I had to have it. She made me want it. YouTube made me buy it. And also the Sephora, Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in the shade Toffee. I've seen so many people talk about this on YouTube. Um, I've heard it been mentioned as like a NARS dupe. And I have NARS and Caramel already. So I figured, hey, let me check it out. See if it's a dupe. If it's as good as that and it's cheaper, I definitely need it in my life. So I did go ahead and pick that up. The next item that I picked up was a refill of my Duo Mattes. And it was so handy right in front of me. I actually used it for this video, so that's why it looks kind of fused, but it's brand new and I actually poked myself in it. Or poked my um makeup brush in it. And I got it in the shade 216. I flipped back and forth between 216 and 218, but 216 is probably my everyday winter and my summer is probably gonna be 218, just barely. But um yeah. So I absolutely love Makeup Forever Duo Matte. I don't know if you guys don't know. If you've never watched a video from me before, you probably don't know. But I set every single foundation with Makeup Forever Duo Matte. So, holy crap. Holy crap status. Seriously. And I also picked up the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. And this baby, I didn't think I wanted this until I actually seen it in the actual store. When I seen it in the store, I was like, you're mine. <laughs> I didn't buy it. I bought it online when I got home. I was just peeping out. Like, did you guys do that? Did you hit up the store? I know if you're VIB Rouge, you must have. Or you probably go there enough to already know. But I hit up the store and see what I like. And then I just buy it all online. Because there's like a whole bunch of other stuff that I want online. So why just, why not just, you know. Hit up the store, do some, do a couple swatches, <laughs> and if you like it, then you go home and you order your shade online. That is what I do. If I have a problem, I know. I know. I have a problem. <laughs> the next item that I picked up is the Busy Art Bridal Palette. So I have a serious, serious problem with buying things that have the word bridal in it. I got my Scandinavia Bridal Spray. I got the Busy Art Bridal. I done picked up some Tarte Bridal stuff. I don't know if I think because I'm getting married in June that I need to have bridal all day, every day, everything, because it's just going to be what, it, what I need. But clearly, I have a very, very addictive personality. But I'm going to swatch one color for you. It's going to be this purple color. Um, I just recently ordered the Busy Art Bohemian palette. Bo Bohemian? I don't know. It's the it's the um the rainbow colory one, <laughs> and it's like shimmery. 
but that's that color if you guys can see that and that is the purple shade right here so I already have um, the Viseart neutral mattes the dark mattes and the camouflage concealer palette I tell you this is all the concealer that you need in the world this palette is bomb.com expensive as hell but bomb.com like and then I'm getting the rainbow one and that should be my last busy art palette I shouldn't need no more ever but it's just my go-to neutral my go-to matte my go-to palettes so I wanted to get the shimmery one because all I have is really the matte eyeshadow ones and the shimmery ones ones work great for me and why not buy it with 15% off and while I'm saying 15% off it made me think about how much of a discount I actually got. So I got 15% off and I also went to Raise.com. Mind you, this video is not sponsored. You can go to Raise.com, you can go to Cardpool, any of those sites, and you can get a discount gift cards. So I got a discount gift card from so from, from Raise.com this time. And it was for Sephora and it was for 8% off. So I got 8% off by using the gift card, the e-gift card that I bought from Raise.com, I got 15% off for the Sephora VIP Rouge sale, and then I got my little percentage off from eBay. Yes, I know. <laughs> so the next item that I picked up is the Marc Jacobs Undercover yeah, Remarkable Primer. And yeah, I can't wait to try this. I did use it today because, you know, you get excited when you get new things and you want to use it right away. So I used it today and I like it so far. I don't know if it'll keep the oils at bay, but I'll keep you guys tuned on that. I fall into the hype and I purchased this. It wasn't a YouTube hype because I haven't really heard a lot of people talking about it on YouTube. But it reminds me of the Blotterazzi. Um... It's just like a smaller version, and it's not for blotting. It's actually for eyeliner. So we shall see what this does. Kind of gimmicky, but I can use some assistance with my wing liner. So we'll see how that goes, and I'll keep you guys updated. Maybe I'll try it out in the video. The next item that I got, I'm so excited to show y'all. It is so gorge, so, so gorge. It is the Disney Mini Beauty by Sephora collection, and it is their new collection. I believe the collection came out with, like, a highlighting blush, um, some lip stains, and, um, some makeup brushes and a mirror. And I picked up just the eyeshadow palette. Let me just show you this, though. This is a packet. It looks like a big mini coin purse. It's super cute. And it's just black on the back. It just looks so cute, like a clutch. And it has a little mirror, and those are the shadows. I actually swatched this in the store, and I was pretty surprised with the pigmentation. I, I don't, I've never actually used any Sephora eyeshadows. So it was really, really surprising how pigmented they are. I'm actually going to swatch this blue color right here because it's so cute. And of course, when I say that, I end up having to build it up. Of course. I don't know if it's because it had already been, you know, dug into a little bit the one I swatched in the store. But I'm going to have to break this bad boy in so it could perform right. I don't know. I don't know what that is. So the next item, let's go on with the stuff, is this Sephora tote bag. It was $5. It was pink and um, I wanted it so I got it. I'm addicted to Sephora bags I swear. <laughs> As I say that I pull out this. I figure I travel a lot so I'll just like put my liquids in there but um, yeah. Totally unnecessary but what else? I got it too. It was cute. The next item is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I picked this up because I've heard so many people on the YT rave about it. The majority of people I've heard rave about it is actually of lighter complexion. So I figured that I would try it out to see how it worked for me with darker complexion. I got it in the color 10 and yeah. 
we shall see how this goes. I will definitely be doing a foundation first impression of this bad boy. The next item that I picked up, I actually already took it out of the package. And this is Richard's favorite face wash. It's the Oil Henriksen African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. And I got the Brightening Face Wipes. I got these on Black Friday. And we absolutely love it. Richard loves the face wash and he uses it religiously. It's like it stays in the shower. And I love the um, wipes. So match made in heaven and it's only $10. Perfection. So the next item that I got is this Sephora nail clippers. It has nail clippers, nail files, um, nail clippers, cuticle clippers, cuticle pushers, scissors, all that good stuff. And it's pink and it's cute and it has an anti-dated case. That's why I got it. But. Next item is the Becca Luminous Skin Color Foundation <laughs> in the color Meek. And I wanted to try this out um, for the summer so I could have something with a lighter coverage. Not necessarily a BB cream, but just a lighter coverage. So that's why I picked that up. The next thing I picked up is this eyelash tool from Sephora. I only picked it up for the tool. I've heard good things about this tool. It better be awesome. Um, the lashes don't matter. The next thing I got is the Elizabeth and James um, Rollerball and Lip Gloss Set. I have this set. I also got this set during Black Friday. The lip gloss is like whatevs, but the Rollerball, that is my scent. That is my scent. I already went through like so much of that scent and it's ridiculous. But I just bought the Rollerball because I have another Rollerball. So I figured I'd just, you know, stick with the Rollerball for now. And then I got the Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I am an oily girl. So I make sure that I pick up things that will keep me from being oily. So that's why I picked this up. And I just picked up the travel size because it was cheap. And I was already spending way too much money in that store or online. <laughs> and so the next thing I got, um, I actually bought... Okay, so... If you are a makeup junkie like me, then you already know that Gwen, Stefan Gwen Stefani's Urban Decay items went on sale on Ulta and Sephora. So on Ulta, I did, I went in on Ulta, <laughs> and I had already went in on my 20% off, but I went in again on this sale, and I bought the lipsticks, I bought four or five, five of the lipsticks or four, four of the lipsticks, and four of the lip liners. And the li only lipstick I didn't get from the collection is Ex-Girlfriend because it wasn't available. And I ended up getting Ex-Girlfriend in the lip liner form on Sephora.com. There was no reason to buy the rest because I had already bought them all. Also, so, yeah. <laughs> and I used um, Razor Comma Park Pool for that too because you know I always stock up on my goods. And I always try to get as and like any discount that I can get any discount that I can get. <laughs> so the Tide Skincare High Performance Naturals. This was another $10 kit. It comes with the Tarte um, Moisturizer, the Deep Dive Cleansing Gel, and the Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. And I wanted to try the Marine Boosting Mist. That's why I picked this up and I figured for $10 I get to try all three of the products. That's awesome. I love gel moisturizers. They're the best. So yeah. The next item that I picked up is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I don't know if it's Rainforest of the Sea, but everything else was. So. Yeah, it is. It's the Rainforest of the Sea Skin Twinkle Lightning Palette. It is their highlighting palette. And um, let's see if I can give you some swatches. That middle color, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing for me. If your color is like mine or darker, it ain't nothing for you either. But <laughs> you can see the other ones. Maybe I fell into the hype on this one. When I swatched it in store, it, it looked so cute. I think this one is really pretty. But, yeah. 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 So, the next item that I picked up... I'm going to pull out all three of these together. The next items that I picked up is the Origins 
Maskamizer. I've been eyeing this and I just thought it was so gimmicky so I wasn't sure. But I've been looking at it and I've been like, uh, I've been watching videos. I've seen Nature B talk about this. And I just figured that they were sponsored by Origins and that's why they were talking about it clearly. But I already knew that this mask right here was bomb.com. Like I knew because I tried it and Richard loves this mask too. And I've tried the moisturizer of this, so I knew this was really, really, really good too. Too. So I went to like the Origin store in the domain in Austin, and I really like their products. I like their customer service too. So I figured, hey, why not buy some of their items? And they also had their their um their own website, so whatever. And it was like spend forty dollars and get twenty dollars off. So I spent forty dollars or forty five dollars and get twenty dollars off and I did that and I got two more masks so maybe I'll do a haul of that too. We'll see. Or maybe I'll do like a a um battle of the masks with all four of their masks. Hmm. Coming up with some good ideas. So the next item that I picked up is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette. And 50 and this is the deepest one and I'm just gonna give you a swatch of the deepest color that right there is the deepest color okay and the next thing that I got is the Dior skin nude air foundation in the shade 050 dark beige um, I literally looked in the store and like was swatching 50 versus 60, 50 versus 60, 50 versus 60 and I couldn't pick one like I didn't know which one I needed because they were so similar for me but I picked 50 because I thought it would work like really good for me and I think it did it does like I've tried it already but I think I'm gonna have to go back and switch it out for 60 because 60 it's going to be my summer shade because I'm going to get darker and yeah, so I think I'm going to have to switch that out for 60, but I don't know. I'll definitely be doing a first impression foundation review type thingy for that one too. So the next item that I picked up is a backup of my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amande. I actually already have this concealer in the shade caramel but I decided to go one color darker to see how it um works for me because I don't want to go bright all the time under eyes so yeah so this one is Amande and this one is caramel okay so the next item that I picked up is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation Mattifying Foundation in the shade 77 this sucks that you really can't see in this bottle it's gonna be crazy to do a try on of this but um i will definitely be doing a first impressions foundation on this one so let me know if you would like for that to um come quicker because as you can see there's a lot of foundations for me to be doing these first impressions things videos whatever so let me know if you would like to see a video on that the next foundation that I picked up is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation water foundation in the shade Deep Honey this is the darkest shade that they have how ridiculous is that like look at this color luckily this color is fine for me for winter it ain't gonna work in the summer. It ain't gonna work when the sun comes out. <laughs> it's not gonna work. But I I got it because I really wanted to try it. I've seen so many good reviews on people with light complexion, so I want to see how it worked for me. But I don't know, Tyre. You need to start coming out with some darker foundations. Like I don't know what you're doing. Are you just? What are you doing? What are you doing, Tyre? We need dark colors. We definitely do. So the next foundation, foundation, <laughs> look at me, I'm falling all up into the foundation stuff. I don't have any more foundations, so that's good. But the next thing I have is the Marc Jacobs Concealer, and I got it in the shade Glow. If you like to um, see a first impression of that, I'll definitely talk about it whenever I do my 
review on the Marc J Jacobs Genius Gel and my review on the Marc Jacobs Remarkable because I have both of those two. I think I have like every foundation that exists. So if you have any requests on a foundation review, let me know and I'll be glad to do it for you. I'll do a whole first impressions. I get it out there for you. I get it out there for you quick too. <laughs> So the next thing that I got was a points perk and it is the Tardist Lash Paint and I was super interested in trying it. I figured a little sample will be fine for me versus buying the whole thing for $20. And then the other point perk thing that I got was the mini bag. Isn't it cute? Isn't it cute? It is super cute. And it's white, so it's going to be so dirty so quick. But it's probably going to be dirty right now because I just swapped stuff and I'm touching it. But, yeah. So it's the mini um, by Sephora collection bag. It's a 250 point perk. And it's just like a tote. It's just like a white, pretty um, tote. And then I got the Nails Ink Spray. No, like, <laughs> it's like... It is a spray, it is a nail spray, it's a spray can nail polish. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that like weird? But I wanted to try it out and see how it worked and do a review on it, like a, a first impression review type thing. So I saw Tati do one and I really wanted to try it so I figured I might as well film it and do it. I don't know if I got the same color as her, I can't remember, I watched too many videos for that, but yeah. Definitely be trying it out and seeing how it works for me. <laughs> we shall see. The next thing that I got is the Becca Loop. No, no. I didn't get this from Sephora. But I, since I'm so excited to talk about it, we're going to talk about it. It's the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Blush in Dahlia. Women of color friendly all the way. I'm wearing it today. If you like it, find it, pick it up, take it home, keep it and cherish it with your life, I swear. It is beautiful. I seen it online and knew it was beautiful. I'm looking at it in person. It's beautiful. Believe me. You have to get this. And the next item that I got, the last item, I also got a Glam Glow, the purple one. Oh, here it goes. Oh, there's two more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about them quick. I'm going to put them up together. This video is kind of long. I got a Glam Glow, um, the Gravity Mud Firming Mask. This is the one that turns you all silver or whatever. I got like the sample. It's like a 100 point perk. So I got it so I could try it out. I'm not trying to buy another $69 Glam Glow mask. I already got too many of them. And I don't use them all the time. So it's not that serious. I also got this, fell all up into the hype of looking on Sephora's website, Macaron, yes, yummy, it smells good too, I haven't actually used the gloss yet, but it smells good, so, and it's cute, good packaging, smells good, that's all you need, right? The last thing I picked up, well, I didn't really pick it up, but I made B.I.B. Rouge for, till the end of 2017, isn't that crazy, yes. Thank you, Sephora, for letting me know that I have a problem. With that, they gave me this blush, and the blush is called Gooly, and here it goes. And yes, this is the end of my video, because I know it's really, really long. I'm sleepy. I'm trying to go in there and watch our new TV show. What's the name of it? Billions. That's what we're watching right now, Billions. So, thank you for watching my video, everyone. If you would like to see some more First Impression Fridays, Thought for a Foundation, if you like to see more foundation reviews if you like to see more hauls if you like to see more of me if you like to see more of zayden if you like to see, see more of richard hey why not all right everyone if you would like to see more videos like this make sure to like comment and subscribe make sure to leave a comment with what you got from the vib sale or if you have a video like this because i absolutely love watching these types of videos i know i have a problem i don't know why i like to 
see what other people bought I guess so I can see if there's anything new that I might have missed but <laughs> let me know if you have anything that I mentioned here today I may have it I may have gotten it during the Ulta sale I don't know but when I do upload the video of my Ulta haul um, I will link the card right here so you guys can see that so I hope you guys like the improvement on my channel I hope you guys like my new content I am definitely putting in more effort to make sure that everything looks right and everything's nice and I'm getting my family more involved so that we can make this, you know, one big family affair type thing. So, <laughs> um, we're trying to push out the vlogs as much as we can. We don't have a very active life right now. I work from home and stuff, so we'll see what we can do. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your weekend, Sunday.